Hi there, just wanted to make a follow-up video to let you know what's been happening with Scout and Magnus, in particular Scout. For those who haven't been watching the videos before, Scout is the greyhound closest to the camera here. She's a five-year-old girl from Ireland who we adopted about two months ago. Magnus we've had, been with us for the last three years. Uh, so the last couple of weeks have been interesting, a lot of challenges along the way, but they've been settling in well together. Until recently, we had a big challenge, as unfortunately, Scout broke her rear left hawk in a slab fracture. She wasn't really doing anything particular, just outside in the pen with Magnus. Magnus went down to bow and to run off and play. She tried to join in and then started limping badly. We took her to her vet, who then said we had to go to see a specialist to basically do some surgery on Scout's leg. So we took her to East Nook in Fife to a specialist there who was going to perform the surgery. The surgery was basically to put a screw through her leg to basically fix the bones so it could grow back. So we took her to five to the vet there. They did the surgery. Luckily it went very well. Got some photographs here. You can see the screw going through the leg. But that then meant that the scout was going to be on cage confinement for the next four weeks. She wasn't too happy about this. Whined an awful lot the first night. And then it would basically start whining throughout the night so it's been very challenging she's had a tough time coping to being confined as much as she has been in the crate she is getting outside for bathroom breaks if it's wet outside we've got to put a plastic bag on the bandage until it came off so out for basically sort of two or three minutes at a time just to basically pee to poo if it's raining we'll put her jacket on but still got the bag on there and she's out there just doing her business and then back inside to the crate in the evenings if she's being quite calm, we'll let her sleep in the bed next to her crate. We'll sit beside her that way. She can't get up and move around, so she's got a confined area and space there. But that seems to help her settle. So we'll do that when we're around. But then if we're not around, she has to go back inside the crate. So she had the bandage on her leg for the first week. And then after a week, it was being taken off. And we're basically getting checked out by the vet to see how the surgery had gone. So we're a little curious herself as to how it had gone. Uh, so then after that the bandage was off it looked really good the wound again she's still cage confined so she's still got basically a couple of weeks in the crate then she gets basically room confinement and then it's back to the vet for some more x-rays and hopefully we get it all clear and she can go out for longer walks so she's got basically a couple more weeks of cage confinement then she'll go for three 10 minute walks and then hopefully at that point in time things will be great but again, she's not loving the crate confinement. She's doing really well considering what she's had to put up with. Had a couple of accidents and things, but she is doing really well considering that's not where she wants to be. She has got lots of energy and is quite upbeat still, even though she has got the injury. So she's doing really well so far, but we'll let you know what happens, how she's doing and how she's getting along when we do our next checkup at the vet. So you can see the injury on here. Her leg was shaved and basically she had the screw in there, but it's all very tidy. I was expecting it to be a lot more gruesome looking, but it's all very neat and tidy, very clean looking. So it's looking good so far. So hopefully the bone grows back the way it's supposed to and things are all good. So that's the latest on Scout, what she's been up to. So here's just some fun videos of her having some fun before the accident just to let you know that she's not all bad and she is settling in well. So this is Scout trying to make a bed in the kitchen for some strange reason. So here you go. But thanks for watching and we'll update you more as we hear more. Are you supposed to be doing that?